Welcome back, Hope Kids and Jam friends. Let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the armor of God. Shoes of the Gospel of Peace. The shoes that a Roman soldier wore were very important. They helped him stand firm or walk without slipping or falling. This is why Paul called these the shoes of the gospel of peace. We can stand firm against temptation and live God's way because we have peace with God. Because we have peace with God, you can also live at peace with other people. You can live each day showing the good news of God's peace to others. Stand firm with the shoes of the gospel of peace. Shield of faith. The shield protects the entire body against attacks of the enemy. Faith in God is like a shield that protects against Satan's attacks. Believers can trust God is always good and everything he says is true. Paul called this the shield of faith. Faith is confidence in God and what he says he will do. One way our faith becomes stronger is by meeting with other believers in church, at Marveling Place Remix, and VVS. When we come together as believers to learn more about God and to learn more about the Bible, we can encourage each other to stand firm in our faith. Stand firm with the shield of faith. Helmet of Salvation A helmet protects the head while in battle. You need to have your mind protected from believing lies that make you feel afraid or discouraged. The Helmet of Salvation is thinking about the truth of your salvation and how it protects you from the lies of the enemy. The truth that God has forgiven your sins, that you belong to God, and that you are part of His family is something you can think about every day. What you spend time thinking about is very important. Thinking about what God has done for you will help you fight temptation. Believing in Jesus means you have God's salvation. Sword of the Spirit. The last thing a Roman soldier needed to be ready to fight was a weapon, a small sword. This is what they used to attack and protect themselves against enemies. You have something you can use to fight against your enemy, Satan. The Bible says the sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. The Bible has the answer for everything we need to know to live for God. God's Word is always right and can be trusted. When you read and memorize the Bible, God, the Holy Spirit, will remind you what it says when you are tempted to sin. Or when others are saying something that goes against God or things that are not true about God, you can respond to them with the truth from the Bible. So reading and studying the Bible is very important or else you won't be prepared for when the battle comes and someone tells lies about what could be what's in the Bible. Stand firm with the sword of the spirit. The armor of God and the truths they picture help us who believe on Jesus to stand firm against the temptation and have victory through God's strength. Paul lived by these truths. He wrote this letter while a prisoner, and yet he remembered God gave him strength and helped him to do what is right. He knew it was God who protected him. He continued to share the good news and told others about how great God is. And because Paul lived by these truths, he could encourage the Ephesians with the letter he wrote. When you feel tempted to yell at your brother or make fun of someone who might be different, remember that God gives you everything you need to stand firm against these temptations to sin so that you won't fall into temptation, but win. God gives victory. And the amazing part is you don't have to stand firm on your own. God will help you. God is so great and loving. Stand firm with the bow of truth. Stand firm with the breastplate of righteousness. Stand firm with the shoes of the gospel of peace. Stand firm with the shield of faith. Stand firm with the helmet of salvation. Stand firm with the sword of the Spirit.